February 1948. Two American vessels navigating the Straits of Malacca, the city of Baltimore, and a few other ships picked up several distress messages from the nearby Dutch merchant ship named Aurang Meden. The crew of a ship, named the Silver Star, received the following message in Morse code. SOS from Aurang Meden. We float. All officers including the captain, dead in chartroom, and on the bridge. Probably whole of crew dead. After a few confused dots and dashes of Morse code, two words came through clearly. They were. I die. Then, after that chilling message, there was nothing more heard of. There was silence. The Silver Star crew started locating the Aurang Meden in an attempt at a rescue. When sailors found the doomed ship, it was undamaged and was in a perfect condition. But when they get closer, they were reportedly greeted with a nightmare vision. Everyone on the ship was dead. The entire ship was littered with corpses, every body was frozen in place, looking up at the sun. With their arms outstretched and a contorted terrified expression on their faces. And the most strange of all, there were no signs of injuries on any of the bodies. Their mouths were wide open, as if in the middle of screaming, and their arms were outstretched, as if reaching for something. Just as the ship was to be prepared for a tow by the Silver Star to a nearby port, a fire suddenly broke out in the ship's number 4 cargo hold, forcing the boarding party to hastily evacuate the doomed Dutch freighter, thus preventing any further investigations to be carried out. Soon after, the Aurang Meden was witnessed exploding, before finally sinking. The final twist in this strange ghost tale is that. To this day, nobody has found any trace of the ill-fated vessel. Some question if the SS Aurang Meden existed at all. As there is no mention in the Lloyd's list of shipping, and there were no records on the Silver Star detailing the attempted rescue. The Coast Guard didn't report it until May 1954, six years after the vessel sank. Conspiracy theorists believe that several countries worked together to cover it up. There's a theory that Aurang Meden is unregistered, as it might have been involved in smuggling operations of chemical substances, such as a combination of potassium cyanide and nitroglycerin, or even wartime stocks of nerve agents. According to these theories, seawater would have entered the ship's hold, reacting with the cargo to release toxic gases, which then caused the crew to succumb to asphyxia or even poisoning. Later, the seawater would have reacted with the nitroglycerin, causing the reported fire and explosion. While others blame the supernatural. And a shocking top-secret CIA document, which wasn't released to the public until 2013, pondered whether it may have involved something from the unknown. Thank <laughs> you.